Hello everybody. In this video I show you how to call a maintenance dialog or a maintenance view directly from ABAP. In the next step I will show how to restrict the editing so that the user can edit only a few entries and not all of them. So let's start with the function module we call here the function module view maintenance call. So we click on the button pattern. And here we see there are different parameters here. We delete here the ones we do not need. So we need action view name and we use the exception block. And the table dba cell list this we need in the next step okay so let's declare the necessary variables first we need the name of our view of our table for this we declare a variable called lv tab this is conf ddo2 we tab name and here we write the name of our view or table set test underscore cast I created this maintenance dialog a few videos before I can link this video in top right. Okay, so the next is the action. So we, we declare the view and the second we declare the action. So I write data LV action. And I use here U for update. We can also use an S here. S means show. But in this example, we need the update. And now we can write here our declared variables. We write here LV action, the rename, LV top. And now let's activate the code and run the code. And here we see our maintenance dialog with different entries and the dialog is editable. So we can add here some data if we want. Yes. In the next step, I want to restrict the editing. I want to show only the records one and two from the carrier Air Berlin. So we go here back. No, we don't want to save our changes. And for the restrict, we uncommand here the table. And we need some more variables first. We need an internal table. I call it LT cell. And this is type table of WIM cell list. This is a selection range for view maintenance structure. Next, we need the structure of this type. So I write ls cell type whim cell list. And from this structure, we use three fields. First, 
we use the view field. So we need here the column charity from our table. So I open the up dictionary and let's have a look on the R table. And I only want to show the carrier Air Berlin. So I need here the care ID where this information is stored. Okay, so I write here the name of the column care ID. Next is the operator. And I use here equal. And last, I use the value. And here I write the letters AB for Air Berlin. So this is our condition. That means we use the column carry D and we only want to show the records with the value AB. Okay, now the structure is filled with data and then we append this structure to the internal table. So I write append lsl to lt cell. And this internal table we write here to the parameter dba cell list. So let's activate the code and let's run and here we see only two records okay let's compare this data from our report and from the maintenance dialog here we see in our maintenance dialog there are more records but in our report there are only the restricted restricted view for the key user, for example. Yes. So you, you can use this technique to uh, write a report where you can put in the whole customizing tables. The advantage for this is the key user uh, have only to know the name of the report or the transaction and they do not need to know all the customizing tables. Another option would be to allow the editing for the entries only to the key users who have also created them. For this you need another column with the user information in it. Okay, yes, uh, that was it already. I hope you liked the video. If this so, please subscribe my channel, leave some comments if you want. I would be happy if we see us again in some of my next videos. Thank you and goodbye.